first, draw back about 3 cc of lidocaine into the 3 cc syringe. Then, draw back about 5 cc of Conray into the 5 cc syringe. Straighten out the tubing, and then connect the Conray syringe to the tubing. For the Magnavist, use the 1cc tuberculin syringe. Draw back about 0.1cc of Magnavist and make sure you evacuate any air bubbles. Then, dilute the 0.1cc of Magnavist in the 10cc saline container, mix vigorously, and then draw back the entire 10cc diluted mix. Now you have everything set up and you're ready to get started. For shoulder arthrograms, place the arm in external rotation. Mike and I both prefer the rotator interval technique. As you can see by the paper clip, this point is on the humeral head directly across from the coracoid process. That way, you avoid the glenoid labrum. You also avoid the biceps labral anchor. and you'll be aiming the needle between the supraspinatus tendon and the subscapularis tendon. There are multiple other ways to perform the shoulder orthogram, but we find that aiming for this green spot is the most successful. You can prep the shoulder with betadine. Use a circular path and start inward and extend outward. Do this two times. Then, you can place the blue sterile field over your target site. Give the patient about 2 or 3 cc's of lidocaine. First give a small amount directly underneath the skin, and then follow that up with a deeper lidocaine. Then, you can put in the spinal needle about 2 centimeters and then check your position under fluoroscopy. After adjusting the trajectory based on the fluoroscopic images, you can go ahead and advance the needle. You should advance the needle until the needle tip directly contacts the humeral head cortex. Once this is achieved, you can remove the inner stylet and then connect the Conray tubing. Make sure you drip a little bit of the Conray into the hub of the needle to ensure a wet connect. When you inject a contrast, hopefully you should see a good result like this. This image demonstrates contrast which is dispersed away from the needle tip, which indicates a good position. On the contrary, if the contrast pools around the needle tip, your needle is badly positioned and should be advanced further. Now you can disconnect the Conray and attach the Magnavist to the back end of the tubing. Inject the Magnavist and you should see a result like this with contrast dispersed all throughout the joint. There's contrast in the subcoracoid region, within the articular surface, in the axillary recess, and elsewhere throughout the joint. Now you're complete. You can remove the needle, apply pressure, and place the sterile bandage. For hip arthrograms, place the feet in the internally rotated position. This time, instead of a paper clip, we'll localize it with a clamp. Choosing a point for the hip is as easy as choosing a point for the shoulder. We can divide the femoral head and neck into one half, 
and then make a 90 degree line to divide it into another half. And we can essentially choose a point in the upper half of the head neck junction. By choosing this point, we'll be avoiding the iliopsoas tendon and the femoral vessels. You can mark your access point with a pen and then you can prep the site just as before. Finally, place the sterile field over your access site. Administer lidocaine in a similar fashion, first a sub-Q bolus, followed by a deeper amount of lidocaine. Advance the spinal needle a small amount underneath the skin and then check your trajectory under fluoroscopy. Adjust the path of the needle if necessary and then advance the needle until it contacts the femoral cortex. Once you've contacted the femoral cortex, you can remove the inner stylet and then in a similar fashion you can connect the tubing and again make sure you evacuate the air bubbles by dripping in a small amount of contrast first. You can then inject a small amount of contrast and then check under fluoroscopy. In this case, the contrast has again dispersed away from the needle tip, which indicates a good injection. Disconnect the condray from the back end of the tubing and then connect the Magnavist. In this case, we have also mixed in steroid with the Magnavist, which gives it the white color. Finally, you should see a diluted result such as this, which indicates a good injection. Remove the needle, apply pressure, and then place